Hi. I know it's, it is a hard time to be in this quarantine, uh, facing coronavirus, staying at home, work at home, not seeing your friends, your family, and cannot travel around the world. I, I know it is very hard time. But can you imagine that more than one million Palestinians been in the Israeli prison for more than like six months, one year, 20 years, 30 years now? Can you imagine that all these Palestinian prisoners, now we have 5,000 Palestinian prisoners, they don't have all this privilege that you have inside the, your home. They don't have internet, they don't have phone call, they don't have uh, television and all of this facility. I've been in the Israeli prison. At that time, I couldn't get like this bin to do my cartoon or to do my artwork. Can you imagine that all these Palestinian people living in this hard time without getting all these basic things inside the prison? That's why I'm asking you now to compare between this situation and our situation as a Palestinian people. And the Palestinian prisoner he is not, not only who is lives inside the Israeli prison, no. 1,700,000 Palestinian people in Gaza, they are in a big prison. More than 4 million Palestinian people in West Bank, they are in a big prison. The Palestinian people in their homeland, in their home, in, in what they call it Israel, 1948 area, they are in a prison. They are facing this apartheid system and this discrimination and racism from what they, you call it, or this world call it, the state of Israel. Yes, more than four, four million Palestinian refugees, they are outside Palestine in a prison because they, can, they don't have that choice to go back to their home country. All the people in the diaspora who do not have this ability to go to, the, to, to see Palestine and to visit Palestine, they are in the prison. And that's why it's not a choice to stand with the Palestinian people or not stand with the Palestinian people. If you are believing in the human right and believe in the human people, you should stand with the Palestinian people. And that's why it's not a choice. Be safe. Be safe during this bad time. And as a Palestinian people, we will stay safe. And we will stay at in our country and on our land, and that's why I'm asking you to stand with us. Thank you.